Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this one we are going to do a uh, DOS for our platformer so we can transport to another level. So I'm just going to quickly show you a demo again like I did in the last video uh, and just to show you what we're going to do. So uh, just jump through the level and go over to a door and as you can see a text is popping up where it says E to enter and if we press E we will get into another level which is the same level as the one we were in. So we're just going to create another level in this one too. So let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is of course importing a door. And that door is really simple, it wasn't hard to make at all. It is basically a 20 by 10 or 10 by 20 black sprite. And that is a single sprite and this pixels per unit is 18 and pivot center and we don't need your whip maps. First melt points as always and true color. Oh, not crunch to true color please, thank you. Click apply, nice. And let's just uh, drag that into our scene. Good, there we go, nice. And now, uh, on the black doll we have to add a collider, so we can detect if we collide with it. So, box collider, and that is going to be a trigger. Good, so, uh, hmm, what do we have to do now? Now we have to do, now we have to, let's just, uh, what do we have to do? Yeah, uh, now let's just create the text that shows up when we collide with this one. Uh, it's go also going to be attached to the game master or uh, as a, assigned to a variable. So uh, yeah, let's just hmm, let's just duplicate the points text and just type something so we can see how it looks like. Set it to white. You can set it to whatever color you like, and just uh, move it down. Good. And now let's rename it to something like input text or something like what you have to press to do a task or something yeah. and now let's create our script for the door so let's see we have our door now let's right click on the script folder and create a new c -sharp script and that door uh, script is going to be called door nice and then open up the script in you know your editing program and delete the things that are in the class. So the first variable we need, which is the only variable we need, is a public just move my keyboard public integer level to load. Nice. And then we need a an another function which is going to be a void on trigger enter 2D. Let's take some arguments as always and we need some more. We need actually two more and they are almost the same but not really. So uh, on trigger stay and on trigger exit. And then we need another variable or a reference to the game master where we have attached the or assigned the variable for the what is it called the text input text so private game master gm good so let's just jump to the game master and create the actual uh, text so public text uh, input text nice so yeah, uh, then we just we just need a, another void and that is going to be a start so we just can create that reference to the GM. So GM equals to game objects, you know, as we did before. Find game master. Oops. Game master, good. 
So it finds the game object with the tag game master and gets the component from it, which is the game master component. Good, so now we can access this. So uh void on trigger enter. Uh hmm, there I think we need the uh, namespace so we can access the actual text. Change it. So using Unity Engine UI, and we also did that before. All right, so let's just say uh, on trigger enter, and if the collider that we are colliding with dot compare tag is player, then we want to display a text. Sorry about that, let's continue. So gm that input text, which is the input text dot text is equal uh, equals to new string. Do we need those brackets? Yeah I guess. Uh, and we're just basically going to say uh, e to enter. Good. And then we are going to Copy this, remove that. So, yeah, let's continue. So, we're basically going to check if we press uh, if input dot get key down, and that key is in this case going to be E, a lower or capital E. So, uh, and then we want to load. Uh, application the load level so and that level is going to be the level to load nice so that is pretty simple and we are also going to do this in the uh, on trigger enter function so just copy and paste it and on the on trigger ent exit we want to set the gm.input.txt to hmm, to nothing to just nothing just reset it so yeah let's see if we need anything else yeah I guess the last time I did this uh, we had to do this we had to also check if it was the player that exited because it gave me errors and stuff so yeah Let's just test it out, and that is probably going to be it for the door. And then we will create another level. So yeah, uh, let's add the actual script. There we go. And let's actually let's add the input text to the game master. Good. So let's jump over to the to the door. And as you can see, E to enter. Good. Nice. So uh, now we are just going to create another level. Or you can do it all. Well, I'm just going to show you how to uh, do so we can load it. So, create a new scene. Uh, here we go. And click Control S to save it. And go under scenes and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it scene 2. And then to load this level, you have to add it to the scenes in build. So just click uh, File, Build Settings, and click Add Current. And over here you can see the index or the uh, yeah the index of the level or the number of it. So to load the level, you have to input the number of the scene, which is this here. Good, so we are just going to do that, and then you can do whatever you want with that scene. You can create some more stuff, just so you know how to do it. So level to load is going to be 1, because the index of the scene 2 is 1. So let's go over and load, and then it should probably be all blue. Good. And yes, nice. So that was basically it for the door. And um, 
I guess we are going to do some sounds for the coins and for the slashing, but uh, I'll do that later on. So uh, yeah, that was it for the doors and coins. Thank you for watching guys and uh, yeah, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.